So let's go ahead and watch the first video. Question, are you worried? That's enough. That's no, enough. Mr. President, I, well, That's I was going to ask one of the, the other folks. That's that had, enough. Pardon me, ma'am. I'm, I'm listening. So this video seems very clean, very clear. Let's take a look at the second video, the one that was tweeted. Now, granted, this is an internet tweet, so it's a little bit soft, but there were some anomalies I saw immediately when I started playing this. So the first thing that struck me was there's no audio. And anytime you tend to shift the speed of a clip, which is what I believe has happened here, uh, it's easier to hide that if you don't have the audio. So that was one of the things that jumped out at me at first. So let's take a look at this. And I'm looking at this frame by frame. And I want you to kind of look closely at this part of the image here, because you'll see some anomalous blurring. And that's what really jumped out at me. So I'm going to step through one frame at a time. Video plays at 30 frames a second. So every second, there's 30 separate images. And it should be smooth, like we'll, we saw in the earlier one. So I'm going to step through this. And almost immediately, I see an anomaly right here, which is a blur. And I can actually bring this full screen. And right here, you see, as she's turning her head, we lose some of that sharpness. Okay, And that indicates to me that it was slowed down because you get that blurring of two frames. It's one of the anomalies that if you slow something down and you don't do it correctly, you see these double blurred images. Let's continue to step through and see what we see. And you'll notice that I actually had to cut down this video. I actually had to remove and, and separate the AP video because in the released video, three frames are repeated. Okay, so if I step through this, go one, two, three, and you can see there's no movement at all here, and there should be movement because it's fluid. And if you look at the original, it's fluid. So it looks like this was frozen. And the reason it was probably frozen is because later on in the video, it was sped up. So it was slowed down, paused, so that later on in the video, it's sped up. And if we step through here, when you speed something up, you're just removing frames. And so you won't necessarily notice that on playback. But when you step through things a frame at a time, you definitely notice the flaw with the slowing things down and the freeze frame. Another way that I examine this is I put them side by side on the same sequence. We can go back to the head of the sequence. And again, if I step through, these should be timed exactly the same. But as we go through, you'll notice that there's starting to be a little bit of a lag over here on the left side on the video that was tweeted by Sarah Sanders, whereas the right side, the AP video, the original video, it actually is moving at a standard speed. And the reason, again, is you'll notice later on that when he turns his mic away or turns his body away to hold on to the mic, it's sped up a little bit, which makes it feel a lot more aggressive. So the original one is a more normal flow. We have the audio. On the left side, I think it's been manipulated because of that blur, as well as the fact that we have those extra frames. So if we go ahead and we play these side by side, you'll notice that the timing is off just a little bit, slower on the left, normal on the right. And then it speeds up as he brings his hand down to protect the mic. And that makes it feel more aggressive. So with video editing, you can actually control what the viewer feels. And what I believe has been done here is that the video was slowed down only so that it could be sped up later so that it would appear that he was being a lot more aggressive than he actually was. He was simply turning away. But you know, it's just like in movies and television, when you see something faster action, it feels more aggressive, so they sped it up, but they had to slow it down at some point, so the running time, the duration of the video, was approximately the same length as the original video that aired last night.